What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Motorsport 7, and we are going to be building a drift limousine. Now, I built one of these a long time ago in Forza... 4? Was it? I, no, no, it wasn't Forza 4 because this car wasn't in Forza 4. It was like, whichever of the first Forza game that had this car, it may have been Forza 6, I don't remember exactly, but I remember when this car first entered the series, I built one immediately like right when it right when it became available and I did I really want to build one now <laughs> I really want to build one now just because of the fact that it's so silly that you kind of like why would you not all right let's see here hey oh god v10 or if hmm are we gonna do the 6-2 we do the v8 I mean I'm going to try the, uh, I'm going to try the 6-2, actually, because I've never tried it in, in, in anything. Normally, you don't, normally, you don't use that engine, uh, for any of these, like, I guess, crazy, weird builds, and I want to use some, I want to have a really predictable, linear setup, so, Twin Screw Supercharger it is, and let's see, that's all Forza Aero stuff, that doesn't need to go on the car, and for wheels and tires... We're going to run a street tire uh, because there's, I think on this, really no point in running much else. Um, wheels, we want something... Eh. That actually, that actually has kind of a cool look to it because it's like all black and you have like these deep concave wheels. As far as tire width, I'm thinking about... Let's go with the 275 in the back. Not the widest that we could go, but not necessarily like, you know, not necessarily anything crazy. Wait, what did we go with in the back? 275? Yeah, okay, so we're 275 in the back. Let's just do a 275 in the front as well. Let's do a square setup. So then there's really, like, nothing to be concerned about with it uh, other than, like, you know, you're running the exact setup you need to be running. And race suspension, so we really don't have to concern ourselves with anything other than the fact that we can... I want everything to be adjustable. Everything needs to be adjustable. We, race weight reduction gets us to 4,575 pounds. I mean, that's d plenty low. Well, okay, that's actually ridiculously heavy, but it's low for what we have here, so it's okay. As far as overall power, I want to be running in, like, that, wow, like, race cams puts us at, like, 7. Race supercharger puts us at 864. I mean, it doesn't need to be ridiculous amounts of power. It just needs to be, it just needs to be usable. So, let's, you know what, let's go with it at the power level it is right now. And then, let's see, we need a race gearbox so we can mess with the, uh, mess with the gear ratios. And a race clutch because, yeah, because we're going to need it. Trust me. <laughs> and let's see about a race diff as well. I need to go and grab some credits. <laughs> that needs to be on my list. I need to go and grab some credits. But regardless, let's go in and tune it real quick. We'll get a base set up on it and uh, get it aligned, get a base set up on it and see how it, see how it looks, see how it feels. First of all, I want the gear ratio up to like 456. Let's see how that runs. And then, okay, let's do negative 3 in the front and like negative 0.8 in the back. 0.2 toe out in the front. Nothing crazy. Doesn't need to be ridiculous. Soften the front springs because we're going to want to do that. Uh, ride height can be dropped. And let's see... It's 175, let's make it 180, and then soften these, I forgot to do that. Let's go and apply this, like, just base, and what track should we go to? We need to go to something that can, like, that can take a, uh, a long car. <laughs> I mean, what tracks are there that can do that really, really well? I've not... Not Suzuka. I mean, Suzuka could do it. I just feel like Suzuka would not be the best place to do it. Um. Actually. 
Hey, we could do Maple Valley. I mean, we've been there a little bit recently, but... I feel like this car needs to go to Maple Valley, though. Like, this car needs to go to Maple Valley, just because of what it is. Just because of what it is, and because this thing is just off the wall crazy, it needs that, it, it needs that open road, feel, well, okay, open road, it's not really an open road, but it's more open than a lot of the other tracks in the game, so humor me, we're gonna go to Maple Valley with this car. So the first lap will be a warm-up lap, and then the second lap will actually kind of attack the, attack the track and really try to push the car and see if we can make it even remotely effective, which I'm not sure if we can or not. That remains to be seen. Oh dear god, it's, it's, it's massive. Come on, oh my god. This wheelbase feels so awkward. Like really, this is, this is ridiculous. There we go. Oh, come on, that's, you know what? That's not terrible. You just have to give like a million steering corrections a second because the insanely long wheelbase does strange things. And it sometimes wants to wrap itself around itself. But, man, if you put in, like, a lot of steering corrections, it can actually work. Wow, I didn't know that scoring zone started that far back. Jeez. Bring back the... Oh, God. That got... That, that got, like, overdone real quick. Bring back the other way. Oh, jeez. That's actually that was a really good that was a really good wall tap. Uh oh oh too much. Use the brakes to kind of keep it from going off the track. See the problem is you have like no buffer room with this car. You have zero zero buffer room considering the fact that <laughs> it's just so huge that dude you you like you have to think of it in the sense of it's so it, it's so massive that when you're sideways you are taking up half the track we're about to go off yep we went off but no like seriously when you're sideways you're taking up half the track let me try first person it still feels like okay it feels better but it still feels weird like i'm not gonna lie and and, and say that it's like oh yeah it's fine no it, it still feels weird and what's weird is even though you can't see the length of the car from this angle you can still feel it yeah it really does handle funny like it, it i mean of course you would imagine it would but it's it, it always feels like the car the back end of the car wants to keep going and you're having to tell it no that that's not how this works here oh geez oh yeah that was horrible all right let's try an attack lap and see what happens we were sideways before the scoring zone so that's not bad Oh, God. All right, come on. There we go. She's not doing too bad. There you go. Not bad on the transition either. See, the back end is in the dirt. But, like, if your front end is, is where it was there in a normal car, you would not be in the dirt. See, that's the thing. This thing, the back end will, will go into the dirt way sooner than any other car, and you can't follow a lot of your normal lines, so it makes it kind of awkward. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my god. See? You can't follow your normal lines. You will, you will, like, hook up to the wall. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Not bad. Oh, are you kidding me? We should have got that transition. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm in the, like, the front of the car is in the middle of the track, and the rear is, like, on the white paint. 
There she goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hitting the rev limiter a little bit. Into fourth, carry it through. You know how you drive this car? You drive this car full throttle. This is a full throttle drift car. No matter how, <laughs> dude, no matter how the hell you look at it, this is a full throttle drift car through and through. No question about it in my mind. And man, you know what? When you get into a rhythm with it, look, it will carry a combo. Like this could be, like at least for scoring, this could be semi-competitive online. And I mean, like, this is just a base setup. I haven't even messed with this yet. I feel like I could make something crazy out of this car. I would love to, actually. That's almost 40,000 points through there. That's... For a car that's literally just here for the sake of comedy, that's pretty damn good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was more concerned about the fact that that... I was less concerned about the fact that that was a crash and more concerned about the fact that it would have put us into the pits because I didn't want to deal with that. It just... This thing just really struggles with tight sections, which, I mean, it, it, it makes sense as to why it would. It's a, it's a damn limousine. But, well, it took the wide line for sure. There she goes. Can we do it in fifth? Oh, uh, fifth's a little low, but it can do it. Oh, not bad. Dude! <laughs> they to the inside. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop, stop. See, that's the weird thing, okay? So, it when it's sideways, it feels like it wants to snap. But when it's... Oh, we took out all the codes. That's badass. But, it, like, so when it's sideways, it feels like it wants to snap. But when you transition with it, it feels like the, like the, the most non-snappy car ever because of the insanely long wheelbase. It's weird. Like, it is actually a really weird car. And I have to say, I am... Uh, <laughs> I am actually kind of impressed by it. There we go. Swing back the other way. Ooh, okay. That got that that stalled out actually. That was not good. Dare I go back to third person? Oh my god. Oh, yep, yep. Oh god. All right, let's see if I can apply what I learned about this car from first person view to third person view. Oh, it's right on the edge. That's so on the edge, but you know what? You know what? Just send it. Just send it. <laughs> Stay in it and send it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is not bad. That is not bad at all, dude. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. There she goes. Think back this way. Holy crap. Holy crap. That that was just sketchy. That was nowhere near as good as the previous lap. But again, I mean, it's third person versus first person, but still. Wow, that drift zone actually, I feel like it starts further up than it did before. Oh, oh, kept our points. Yes. See, that's the nice thing about a car that's so long. You can dip like the rear end across the edge of the track and... Oh my god, it's good at 360s. That was so easy. So good at 360s. Well, I mean, hey. It actually works. It actually works. <laughs> Surprisingly well. And I'm actually very impressed by it. And I think you guys all need to build one. And if you want to copy this setup, it's actually not a bad setup. It feels really good. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave it a like. Tell us in the comment section down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see y'all next time. And later on today, we got more Forza uh, for you guys, as well as possibly something else. And coming later in the week, we have some surprises um, from some new games that I just got access to. But again, hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.